just an opening statement about the game? Yeah, I mean, give credit to the Florida Gulf Coast. Obviously the best best team in this league. Um, I think they proved that through the regular season. They proved it through the tournament as well. Um, difficult place to play, fun environment to play in. Uh, I thought it was a good representation of the Atlantic Sun and the league that we are. Uh, from our perspective, proud that we put ourselves in the position to play in this game tonight. Uh, I think we're disappointed in you know, the way we probably played it, if that makes any sense. And so hopefully we, you know, the, the positives of being here, I uh, hope, hope we learned things from being in the situation. Um, and then also, I guess, become hungry about figuring out how to close the gap between us, you know, us and where we want to go. Um, what went into the decision to shift defensively in the second half to protect the paint but allow more shots from the outside? Well, I thought they kind of got a, a, a lot of shots the whole game. You know, the, I thought the first half, both teams actually manufactured quite a few good shots and, and neither team made a lot. Um, you know, the second half, we, we didn't close out very hard at all. So we switched our ball screen coverage a little bit. Um, we don't have a great answer for, for what they are doing to us. And I've got to go to work to figure a better one out. Um, but we did switch that up. Uh, it actually shouldn't have netted more threes, but it did. And I think that's, you know, us growing as far as who am I guarding and how hard do I have to be out there. So um, we did make an adjustment. I'm not sure it should have, what happened should have happened. Um, you know, but like Amani Jefferson, give her credit, she hit three or four threes tonight, you know, and that is, is out of character for what she'd done to this point. But she's a very good player, and that's what good players do, is step up when, um, if that's what we're giving her, she finds a way to make them. And then how difficult it is to make in-game adjustments against a team that can hurt you inside and out? Yeah, I mean, that's a good basketball team. And, and I think, you know, whatever, they are now 19-0 maybe in the league this year. Um, they haven't lost a lot of tournament games uh, since they've been in the, in the Atlantic Sun. So I think for us, the biggest thing is just how do you figure out how to close the gap? So how do we take the crew that we've got, um, keep them together, and then build it forward and try to close the gap between where we're at and where we want to be? Coach, uh, you know, you had mentioned the shooting, you know, both teams really, you know, in, in the first half. How, how fortunate did you feel going into the locker room only, only down 13 points? Well, I was two? frustrated, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I thought we got a whole bunch. I mean, our offense from the first time we were down here to the second time, it was night and day. We, we had good shots in the first half, and we shot two for 15 from three. So, I mean, sure, they, they missed some too, but I, I didn't feel fortunate. I felt like both teams probably got shots that they were okay with, and if you want to come to Fort Myers and play well, you have to be better than two for 15. You so know. you didn't necessarily feel it was anything that they were doing defensively. You just had some open shots, and you don't feel like I thought we moved the ball better, yeah. you know, and I thought we had pretty good shooters shooting shots that they could make. And in a game like this, you know, I know we all wanted to make more. I'll tell you that. And then, you know, to give them credit, they, they flipped it in the second half, and we really didn't. So they make 10, I think, in the second half, and we, we stayed right with where we were at. I know it's disappointing tonight you didn't play your best basketball the game you wanted to play, but just looking at the season as a whole, considering where the program was last year, what does that say about this group here that they were able, you know, you were able to get the Sure. Percentage? Yeah, I mean, we've got a good group, and uh, we have good players in there. Uh, we've got good people. Um, I, I think that as soon, as soon as we got the ones that we got, it, it, everything in the past didn't matter. So I don't know that I look at tonight. Um, I think in a way we should have been here or pretty close to it. You know, I mean, I, I, we went after Bree Stevens really hard. And when we got her, I knew she was pretty darn good, you know. And so you can kind of go down the list. But I think we sort of quickly made what we used to be irrelevant. You know, there's not much left in there that, that was the same team as last year. So I think from our perspective, it, it – we, we immediately started talking about, can we find a way to play in this game? Okay, so 
that part I'm excited about. Um, but it doesn't surprise me that that we made giant leaps forward. We got a whole bunch of the players that we wanted, and I, I hope that we walk out of this gym completely ready to work and try to close that gap. And as you just said, you know, you're making giant leaps forward. What do you think is the next leap to get that, you know, ASIN title next year? I think, you know, I think that it's probably like on a night like tonight, we we have to handle kind of. Uh, I thought they carried themselves like. Like champ, like they knew we will make the plays, okay. And so I think it's a little bit of that. I don't know what what you call swagger, um, belief, um, steadiness of purpose, and things like that. Physically, I thought they got to us. Uh, they're super quick. They've got some great athletes. And so you know, I think there's maybe some things that we can try to do on campus in practice to try to to try to level that off next year. Um, but that's that's kind of my thoughts on that. You you go. Yeah. Let's let's hear your. I don't know. They're a good team. I think they played harder than us tonight, and we do have stuff to work on. But I think just the steps we took, we should be proud of ourselves as well. But hungry to work. And then Bree, just kind of talk about kind of same question from earlier. Um, how you think the season went in your eyes? You know, brand new team for pretty much everybody. Everybody just got here. You know, looking back, see hopefully the season's not over yet. Um, but just thoughts on so far through this year? Uh, it was a lot of fun just to see how much we've grown since July when we got to campus. It's crazy to think there's like, what, 10 new players on the team and we've come this far. So I think, what can we do next year when we're the same people, just improved? Thank you.